To ensure that this program is safe and effective for you, it should be performed under your doctor's supervision. Talk to your doctor or physical therapist about which exercises will best help you meet your rehabilitation goals. In this video, we're going to talk about training. Training is all about improving, and you can improve in just about anything you want in life with a little bit of practice. We've probably all heard that since we were little kids, right? Uh, but it's true, if you want to become a better basketball shooter, you'll go and you'll shoot your hoops every single day. For 15 to 20 minutes a day, you'll become a really great shooter. If you want to get good at math, do math every day for 15 to 20 minutes more than you would normally. You'll become great at math. And if you want to improve your ability to walk, just walk for another 15 to maybe 30 minutes a day. Uh, it's as simple as that. If you do the math on this, if you were to improve 1% in something every day, five days a week for a year, that'd be 260 days, it'd be 1.01 .01 to the 260th power, you'd be 13 times better at whatever you're trying to do uh, in that one activity. Now, 13 times is pretty excessive. Uh, and 1% a day is a really actually a hard goal. But the point here is if you get better just a little bit every single day, you will become exponentially better at something if you just keep training. Okay, again, I'd like to reiterate that this is not medical advice at all. It's purely exercise advice. Any type of medical advice, you should be consulting your doctor. But in general, for people training with the Cadence Original Shoes, I like to recommend that they start with as much walking as they can do per day. It's doing it daily and getting that 1% better every day that's important here. It's not taking an hour session or something like that. If the most that you can do in a day is just five minutes of walking, but you're really gonna try, go for it. Start at five minutes and start slow. Remember, don't roll over on that toe. But as you get better, you can start progressing both your speed and your step length and you can continue to progress the duration of which you're training. So ideally, you could get yourself up to 30 minutes a day walking in these cadence shoes at least five days a week. If you can do that and you're truly focused on the goals at hand and your biomechanics and how we're moving straight, you're going to see gains in all kinds of different ways, just as we would from shooting those baskets every single day. Biofeedback can be a powerful tool in training. The Cadence Original has been designed with a biofeedback tool right in the bottom of your sole. When we scuff the floor on a hard surface, the Cadence shoe is going to make an audible click. You'll hear it. And when you walk heel toe, the shoe will remain mostly silent. In this way, you can use the Cadence Originals as a tool to instruct you on how you did every single step. The sound is created by the low friction puck underneath the shoe. As it makes contact with a hard surface, it's gonna make that clicking sound. Now, of course, if we're on a soft surface like a rug, you won't hear that clicking sound anymore. So if you're training and using this biofeedback tool, make sure that you're on a hard surface. So walking is very rhythmic type movement. It's a movement pattern which repeats over time. My left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Now, sometimes we can think about walking of just individual steps, but it's often a lot harder for people to do it like that. So when I'm training people to walk, especially using the Cadence Originals, I'm talking to them about their rhythmicity. And one way to think about this is to think about your gait as more of like a dance rather than a walk. Uh, every one of your steps should link to the one that's next to it in a nice, rhythmic, artistic fashion. A helpful tool for some people is to actually be listening to one of your favorite songs. And when you're walking, kind of walk to the beat just like you would be dancing to the beat. That's gonna create a really nice looking and flowing type of gait. So in addition to just thinking about those biomechanics and how you're moving each one of those steps, and maybe starting with the smaller steps, I want you to also be thinking about moving those steps in a rhythmic fashion. So the takeaways here are training a little bit daily is a recipe for improvement. If heel toe walking is the goal, use the clicks to know the quality of each step. Rhythmicity may help the quality of your gait. So training to music can be a useful tool.